Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about my favorite items and accessories for the summer. Basically things that I just got, that I want to get, things that I'm reaching out for a lot and that are basically like in constant rotation. Sunglasses, clothes, bags, shoes. So I hope that you can get some inspiration or at least just like enjoy this video. I am so sorry if you can hear the fan. It is so hot here in Barcelona. I don't know if you guys remember that I told you that I cannot put AC on the apartment because it's a very old building. So there's molding and so many Many details on the ceiling and on the walls so we cannot put it and I am dying it's been brutal especially at night so we're gonna get a portable AC I might vlog that because honestly it's gonna be a process to be able to just put that just for the summer in the bedroom at least at night because it's like the worst part and for the day I'm just gonna go and work somewhere else because yeah it's super super hot here so I love summer so much because it's like so floral so fresh the things that I'm gonna show you are literally things that I I've been finding myself just grabbing so much in the last couple of months or so and the reasons why I like it so much new clothing that I got, jewelry pieces shoes, I have an update on the Scarlett shoes and if I still want to get the Loro Piana loafers etc so let's dive into that first I wanted to show you some pieces that I just got and this video is in collaboration with Mocha I've worked with Mocha before and I love their pieces, they have amazing clothing but they also just released sunglasses that I want to show you so I got a pair of sunglasses that I am so excited to try on. I think I lost my Chanel sunglasses in my trip to London so this came in perfect right now because I've been borrowing polo sunglasses and they also sent me clothing that I will also show you and try on. I will leave Mocha's website and if they give me a discount code I'm gonna leave it right here on the screen right now. So let's unbox them and try them on. These ones are already open because I needed them the other day. These other two I have not tried them on so I'm excited to see which one you guys like better. They come in this very cute white case. It says Mocha Studio. I really like this. It's very practical and it's quite slim so it fits inside your bags no issue so let's open the first sunglasses so i'm gonna try not to blind you but these are the billy sunglasses in black smoke lens so i'm gonna show you how they look on the side and i'm gonna try them on so of course we're right now it's gonna look silly because i'm wearing like a very floral superman dress but i really like the shape that they have let's try the other ones they're gonna be linked um everything's gonna be linked of course so let's open this one so these are gonna be the bobby, so you can see the difference between them. One has a little bit more of a cat eye and the others are a little bit more rectangular. Here you can see them in a little bit more detail. So the bobby ones have this detail here on the sides. And I think these ones are a little bit more edgy. These ones complement my face a little bit better, but I love this too. Let's open the third one. So this is the last pair and then I'm gonna go to the clothing, but these ones are the ones that I'm the most excited about. And these ones are the Haley rounded sunglasses in black chai. They they all come like full set for cleaning and there are also dark sunglasses I don't like sunglasses that are not like black or quite dark I'm very particular with that so these ones are a little bit bigger and the lens is not that dark and yes I know that my face is quite small but I kind of really like them so these ones always remind me like um Chris Jenner type of vibes and I love them the lenses are UV 400 so it blocks almost a hundred percent of the UV light they're polarized which is a must for me let me know which one was your favorite pair I'm gonna put them away and show you the clothes so i got four pieces of clothing of course i had to get a striped blue shirt because if not it wouldn't be me at least lately i have like the same shirt three times because i use it so much so i'm really glad that i'm adding some new things so you guys know that i have a journey basically finding pants because i have a smaller waist and thicker legs so basically any type of pants that are not skinny skinny jeans or something like that it's a hassle for me to find and i got such an amazing pair and i love them so these are their wide leg pants in apricot so comfortable so fresh i'm gonna love this so much for the summer and also for the beach and just walking around they're very very comfy i actually love the tag and these are super easy to pair with anything i want to go with a beige color because i already have white linen pants and i have some a pair with stripes too so this is what i was looking to add to my closet for the summer and i love them the length is perfect i'm gonna use them a ton then i found a new variation and i think this one is quite cool because it's like dark blue with lighter blue the quality is very very good that for me is very important because I add pieces that I'm gonna use and wash and repeat consistently so I'm not gonna be the person that you're gonna see always a new outfit that I'm never going to repeat and I sometimes get those comments like you're always wearing the same shirt or you're always wearing the same dress and it's like this dress I'm gonna keep it for so many years and I invest in like good quality clothing that is very much my style because I don't really follow trends that much so I'm very intentional with the things that I add to my closet so this is very on style for me absolutely love it very easy to 
pair with a pair of white linen shorts, jeans, denim, whatever you want. And it's so fresh and it's just like a different style on the regular striped shirt. I got two white shirts because I'm quite clumsy, so I always stain my white shirts. This is a specific style that I wanted to get, but I would never find like good quality version of it. And this one feels very, very good. And let me try to show you what I mean with the fabric. So it has like the stripes. So it's like ribbed. They have the matching pants, but I didn't want to be like too much, too much. So I went with a shirt and you can pair it with anything that you want. And it's so fresh, really good quality. I'm really excited to start using this one just for it to be like a change from my regular linen shirts and cotton. So this is interesting and really nice to add. And this last one is a little bit more elegant. So I'm gonna iron it when I try it on, but it has these details on the neck that I hope that you can tell in the camera. But this is gonna look very nice for like, um, I don't know, dates, lunches, something a little bit more like elegant rather than my regular cotton t-shirts. And I really like the sleeves. They have like this romantic, very aesthetic style that I really like. So it's really hard for me to find clothing brands that are not like the ones that I already know that have things that I am very attracted to that I feel like they are a little bit different but still like pieces that I would keep in my closet for years and years. Definitely gonna use them a lot during the summer. If these are not your style, they have so many different pieces in their website that you can check out in the description box down below. And I'm gonna show you then the rest of basically everything that I've been using a lot. Okay, so let's start with the bags. I am very consistent with the bags that I use but I have a few things that I would love to add. Things that I have been reaching out for that I was not using that much in the past couple of months. And I'm very glad to say that I feel like I have a very healthy rotation with bags in my collection. This one is shocking. And I'm gonna explain why in a minute. And I, I want to ask for advice. My chicken nugget bag from Louis Vuitton. So this is the Louis Vuitton Bois de Chapeau necklace. So I'm gonna say this is unhinged because this doesn't fit even credit cards. So what do I put in here, you may ask. Very good question. I put hair ties, a lip gloss, over, uh, like the small ones, AirPods possibly, and whatever I find that can fit inside. So I've been wondering, this is what I wanted to ask. There's a little bit of a bigger version of this one. It's still such a mini bag from Louis Vuitton, but I think it's insane to consider getting that one too and having both of this. And I don't feel like I can part with this one. It has a little chain inside. So I can't do a crossbody with the bag in case you were wondering. You can also fit pills inside. I also use it as a catch all inside of my bags and it has the cutest little little tab. It is a very cute bag. Like I love it so much, but yeah, it doesn't really fit my cards. Like if it doesn't fit a credit card, it's not even like consider a wallet. So yes, I understand. I've been reaching out for it. I love it. It's very cute. I don't know what to say. This second bag has me in a bit of a predicament that I don't know what to do. So this is one of my most used bags lately and it's not a bag either. <laughs> so this is my Constant Slim Wallet from Hermes and this is in Vert de Gris in the gold hardware. So I use this one as a handbag with this strap that I got from Etsy and they actually messed up my order, but I don't care that much. So I actually asked it in the same color as the bag, but they sent it in clay. So this is not real Hermes. Hermes doesn't offer a strap option for this. This is just from Etsy. You can also find chain options, but I wanted a leather one and you can see here, you put it here inside like this and now you have a crossbody bag. So this is such an easy grab and go because it's my wallet. I have here everything that I need and it also fits like other stuff and essentials. It's such a small bag that you don't feel it and sometimes during the summer I just don't want to bother with a bulky bag at all. I'm afraid to say that since I got this one I use this one way less. So this is my Kelly to go in blue bloom. I absolutely love this bag and I love the color but I don't know why. I reach out for this one a little bit more. Not sure if it's the fact that this one is smaller because this one fits my phone and this one doesn't but yeah for some reason I'm reaching out for this one a little bit more. I want to get the mini Kelly out of the way because I do want to talk about this. This is not only one of my most used bags of the summer, but it's probably gonna be my most used bag of the year. Like no questions. Like I know that we're only mid-year, but I've already used it enough to know that it's still my most used bag of the year, no matter what. If I could have this in every single color under the sun, I would own it in every single color. It's a very hard bag to get, so I am very content with the one that I have. I am very grateful that it's in clay and I use it so much. I love it. I always knew that I was gonna love the mini Kelly, so I'm pleasantly surprised of how much I like it. I have a full review on the bag in case you're interested, but yes. 
I love it so much. I'm quite glad to include this bag on this video because it sat on the shelf for the longest time and it's now being put on use. This is actually the bag that I'm using today with this dress. This is from Superman. This is my pink mini and this one is from the, I think, 2019 spring summer collection with aged gold hardware. I love this. This is in square. In love with this bag right now. It's so like, I don't know. I just really, really, really like the size and the strap length. I don't want to wear crossbody always. I do this and I do this. And this way you have a shoulder bag. Ta-da! So yeah, it doesn't look the best, but it's quite comfortable to wear like that. And I'm really glad to be reaching out for it because I have other classic flaps in like pastel colors. And this one was the one that was like being the least used. There are reasons why I just sometimes find hard to pair pink with like winter outfits and fall outfits. So um, I think now it's, it's time to shine. And I also have this one. That is probably one of my favorite bags in my collection. And it's this stunning green. This one I got it from Redelux and it's like the, a perfect shade of sage green like it's like in between blue and green i love it so much this one is so easy to pair with anything especially right now i'm wearing a lot of dresses in like shirt short combinations and i love this one so much i've been using it a lot i love green i'm obsessed with green and then the last bag so when i got this one i was a little bit concerned of how much i was gonna use a bag this size in such a bright color because this is like the brightest color bag that i own and it's quite eye catchy i love it um it's so easy to pair like i've changed my mind with colors like i would only wear neutrals and my bags were neutral and my outfits were neutral and i think i'm finding my way out of like my own style where i can wear a colorful outfit with a neutral bag or a neutral outfit with a colored bag so i tend to dress a little more neutral and i add the fun with the accessories so i want to give a huge shout out to season to consign for finding this bag i'm so happy to have something like this unique in my collection it has a silver on the inside and blue celeste on the outside and it's in epsom now i want to go for the shoes and i wanted to give you an update on the scarlet loafers that i got so in this past couple of months i've been trying to go to little piana to get summer charms but since little piana got so popular they're really really hard to find they're also quite pricey shoes and i wanted to get multiple pairs in different colors so i got this once so if you like the style and not only the brand i got three pairs and this one so far are the most comfortable we'll link them in the description box down below but these ones are open in the back and super super comfy to walk around i took this to london and i love them they were super super nice to wear you can already see that i've put a few steps on these ones i love them they are really really good quality i would get more colors on these ones and then i got two pairs on this and this ones they they give you blisters on the back, at least at the beginnings. I'm still wearing the patches that you put on the back of your foot so you don't get blisters. But other than that, super, super comfy. I actually do want to recommend them a lot to anyone that is looking for an alternative to wear this summer and you don't want to drop over a thousand on the Loro Piana. So absolutely love them. They're an Italian brand. If you love the style, they are an amazing option. I've been meaning to get another pair of sneakers and I'm between getting the Celine low tops. I'm going to share a clip of them or the Hermes Day sneakers. I definitely want something quite simple, but also like durable and comfortable and wipeable because I want to retire my Chanel sneakers. With the Celine ones, it's a little bit complicated because I know that I'm going to be 34 and not 35. They run a little bit big. And with Hermes, the lowest that they go is 35. But I think with a good pair of socks, I might pull it off. Just, I'm not sure which ones to go for, but either of those, I think they're a really good white sneaker option. These are the only pair of sandals that I own and I actually highly recommend them. I love them. You need a breaking in period for sure, but I don't know. I like this style a lot. I wouldn't wear them with this but um, with a shirt and a little bit more of a simpler outfit, yes, for sure. Now, when it comes to jewelry, I tend to have faces and right now I'm on my pearl face in case you haven't noticed. And I do think pearls give you the perfect summer look. This is the melody and it has pearls and diamonds. It's a very unique piece and you can adjust it like this. So it's actually such a fun piece. These are the most basic earrings that they have. I think this is a classic collection, but basically the pieces that I've been using on repeat since the summer started is the melody. I am pairing it and I'm mixing metals with my Van Cleef, my sweet Alhambra Mother of Pearl 2. So I basically wear these two together. Right now I only wanted to wear one because with this dress I tend to want to go with that simpler look but this is the necklace and let me change the earrings to show you because these ones I just love them so much so these are the way 
Wave collection. They are white gold with diamonds and pearls. So let me show you how it looks. They're so pretty and so unique. I really like them. I'm gonna change the other one and just leave them on. Other than my regular stack, um, those I don't change much. When it comes to watches, I only have one watch on my wish list and it's the Cartier Mini Panther. And I have a thing for small watches because that's the reason that I want the Mini. And it started because of my grandma. Basically, she only wore like very, very small watches. This is my Rolex. And at last, I wanted to do an honorable mention to three clothing pieces that I'm very excited to use this summer and that I'm using like quite often. So the first one is gonna be this Zimmerman dress. I call it my dream dress. It's just a white detailed, very cute dress. Then I have this other one that is from Zimmerman too and it has the little boats that we show to you. So it's this one, but I'm quite embarrassed to go on the street with it. So this is the only reason why I haven't like really reached for it that much. It's quite eye-catchy. I love it. I just want to find the place and time to wear it, but I'm actually really excited about it. The last one is gonna be the Lambon shirt. My ultimate obsession. I want it now in every single color. I just love it. It's so cute. Of course, if I were to like go on and on and on, I would say Aritzia linen shirts. You're gonna find me this summer with dresses, shirts, and linen shorts. Maybe some skirts here and there. So this is gonna be the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell down below so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you're not done watching, I'm gonna leave you two videos right here in case you wanna check them out. Thank you and see you on the next one. Bye.